Hi, and welcome back to Catrin Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today we are going to be reviewing Aftershock Comics Jimmy's Bastards, issue one. So, this is the new book from Garth Ennis. So, have you ever thought 007, he's a love him and leave him kind of guy, you know? What exactly happens, you know, to the girls that don't end up getting killed in James Bond films. Well, if uh, Jimmy Regent is any indication of that, you end up with a kid and you get dumped somewhere. So, jumping right on into the comic, we get to see Jimmy Regent making some quick work of some fake ISIS insurgents. So, of course, they're spouting the same kind of hate speech that ISIS members always do. However, they get sh one of them gets shot in the crotch and he screams, Jesus Christ. So clearly, not actually ISIS. So Jimmy Regent makes pretty quick work of them. I love the fact that he says old son in it and he always has like those little chipper anecdotes. And also we get the classic uh, pose, because of course he's Jimmy Regent, he's, the, he's Britain's greatest spy, of course. And he saves, he saves the blimp and he saves all of the passengers on it, makes some pretty quick work of all the bad guys on it, including this guy who seriously just looks like some evil, twisted wizard guy. Like a bad magician. Like the Mad Hatter? He doesn't really look like the Mad Hatter, other than the fact that he's got that hat. And he's wearing green. I don't think he looks like the Mad Hatter. But that's just me. But okay. it, he makes pretty quick work of him, of course. You know, he's got those stereotypical uh, 007 charms with the ladies. And then all of a sudden, Bobo the Bastard Chimp Clown shows up. And of course, in uh, typical Garth Ennis style, it's very grisly, very gory, and vulgar. I love it, personally. This whole panel is just ridiculous to no end. And um, I would not want to mess with Bobo the Bastard Chimp Clown, because um, he'll rip your face off. If you see right there, he'll rip your face off. So of course uh, he's trying to kill, he's trying to kill Jimmy Regent, and then Jimmy decides to just blow a hole in his human brain, and when that happens, he goes primal. So, it's it's kind of funny. He falls to he supposedly falls to his death because you know if uh, Mojo Jojo was any indication, he's not actually gonna die. But um, of course, he's saved by the lovely Olga in her chopper, and a couple sexual in the windows later, they decide to go back to her place. Yep. So the next day back at uh, back at headquarters, he discovers that uh, Olga's been let go or placed in a different area. She's She's been transitioned to another posting. Because, uh, of course, they can't have uh, fraternization in between the two individuals. And he's saying, what? But she's been with me since the man since the men from Wanker. Of course, there's so many different references to different things like the men, the man from Uncle, and it's it's great. We even get the uh, stereotypical 007 car right there. But he does end up getting a new handler in the form of Nancy McGowan. And, of course, she's not taking any of his nonsense. She says that she's her, 
she's heard all about him and that's not going to happen to her and of course he offers her a drink to try to get her to calm her nerves a bit more and so they can actually get to know each other her response to that is it's 9 30 in the morning so of course they go out for a drive they go out for a fizzy pop because you know why not fizzy pop it's all in so they go down for a nice fizzy pop and he's quite literally flirting with every girl that walks in so of course fringe benefits of the job is uh, he hooks up with a number of very beautiful, very gullible women. So continuing on, um, yeah, he got lucky, in case you're wondering. <laughs> he got lucky with uh, both the lovely women that he'd chatted up at the fizzy pop parlor earlier on. And he gets a call, a death threat, whatever. You know, he's over it. So, as the comic closes, we get to see St. Saint, Saint Paul's Cathedral. And it's been taken over for a private event. So, this looks a bit like a cult. Until you, can, you, you really realize what they're all there for and exactly what the issue is. They all have daddy issues. You see, none of them really knew their father. None of them ever got to meet him, ever got that love and affection growing up. No birthday cards, no, you know, good job, son. You, you, you're the greatest girl in the world. None of that. None of it. But they have something, very, another thing very similar. When they call themselves brothers and sisters, and they point out their target. So, these are all of the children of Jimmy Regent. Yeah, he has an entire cult of children. Damn. A a apparently, he is just a very fertile, very fertile man. I mean, wow. <laughs> um, so in the, at the very end of the comic, they decide that they're going to go after their father. So I'm really excited to see exactly where this goes, exactly how crazy it's going to be. It's from Garth Ennis, so you know it's going to be crude, you know it's going to be loud, it's going to be rude, and it's going to be freaking fantastic. Also, I'm kind of in love with the cover for the next issue. So, I mean, I love 007. I love Archer. I, I love Corthenis. And I'm actually all on board for this new comic. So, Aftershock Comics really been knocking it out of the park. I loved the art throughout. I think the only thing that I really hated was... Uh, Bobo the Bastard Chimp Clown, and that's probably my own hang-up, because I, I don't like chimps, I don't like monkeys, they, they freak me out. That's just my own personal hang-up. So, you know, having him as a villain was actually a pretty, pretty hardcore thing for me. And I loved, I loved the influence of 007, I loved all the stereotypical quips, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. I really did, and I cannot wait for the second issue. So give me a like if you like this comic, if you like this video. <laughs> uh, comment below to tell me what you thought of Jimmy's Bastards and whether or not you're going to be picking up the second issue like I am, whether or not you think Garth Ennis knocks it out of the park. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really looking forward to see where this goes moving forward. Um, subscribe to my channel for more comic book content or check out any of the older videos I have up for offer here on Catrin Figures. And until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.